Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Bouquets by Nicole. Today we're making a black and gold bouquet. This is one of our luxury bouquets. And those are just um, pieces that go along with this bouquet. What you'll need for this project is your styrofoam half ball, solid, not hollow. You need your holder. And we have our ribbon, our fat ribbon, our skinny ribbon for the leaves and the holder. We have our roses, flat roses, and we also have the regular satin roses. And you'll need brooches, lots and lots of brooches. We're using gold brooches today. You'll need your wire cutters just to cut the pins off the brooches. You'll need your scissors to cut the ribbon. And you'll need your glue gun, trusty old glue gun and some glue sticks let's get started okay first thing you want to do is put a hole in your styrofoam half ball i'm using the large half ball today this is a 7.8 inch we usually say it's an 8 inch but it's 7.8 inches and it will give you a 9 inch bouquet with the satin roses with the real touch roses you'll get like a 9 to 10 inch bouquet but this is going to give us today a nine inch um, with the satin roses first thing you want to put your ribbon around the base and then we're going to stagger the rounded um, satin roses and you'll notice that I have gaps in between these roses that's because I'm going to go on with the flat roses to fill in the gaps it's going to be beautiful just absolutely beautiful i think these black roses are so elegant i they make such a nice statement especially when you contrast them with the gold brooches so we're just going to go along the baseline with our round roses now these roses you notice i have the ribbon at the um base of the styrofoam holder that's just to disguise any gaps that might show up between the roses because the styrofoam ball is white you want to camouflage it so that's why i always put ribbon around the base of the bouquet um styrofoam half ball so just continue going around and then um i'll just speed this up some you don't need to see me put all these roses on so we'll just continue going along with our round roses you noticed in the beginning i showed you guys the boutonniere that her groom is going and the groomsmen are going to use and then i also showed you um the bridesmaids bouquet that matches this bridal bouquet it, it's a beautiful um collection i'll show you guys how to do the oh these flat roses are so cute aren't they Oh my goodness, you don't even need any bling on this bouquet. Just these satin roses with the round roses and the flat roses, they make a statement all by themselves. But of course, you know, I got to put some bling on this. I got to bling it out, y'all. All right, so I'm done with the roses. So now we're just going to cut some of the um, two inch width ribbon for our leaves. The length is about six to seven inches fold it over and then you just cut the bottom in v's to get rid of some of the bulk of the ribbon when you go to put it around your holder i do this in all of my videos so i'm going to go real fast at this point so we're just going to start gluing our leaves on and it's really simple i know in the beginning it's kind of hard when you're first um, learning how to apply the leaves on it's a little bit tricky but once you start doing it you get into the groove of it and it becomes easy so i'm just about done here with the leaves so this black nice i like it i like it yes look at that beautiful just beautiful so now i'm just going to cut a circle to go at the bottom of the wooden holder and then like so just make a little circle make sure it's not too big because if it's too big you're going to have some bulk under there you want a seamless finish and so now we're going to go in with the um the skinny ribbon 
to cover our whole thing. You're going to hold the ribbon really tight to get rid of any wrinkles because you want this to be really smooth and just to perfection. So we're just going to cover up our holder and then we're done with the bouquet itself. And then the party is going to get started with the brooches. Yes, I love I love decorating these bouquets with brooches. I just absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So we're just about done here. That's done. Make sure you put glue as you go up on the holder because you don't want the ribbon to slide down. As you're walking down the aisle, you don't want your ribbon sliding down. So now we're going to start with our brooches. And it's just an assortment of gold brooches I have here. I have the smaller ones, the medium size, just various um, sizes and styles. And then the goal for this bouquet is to let the flat roses peek through the brooches. I don't want to cover up the flat roses. I want the black to show up um, you know, see, like that. I want it to show up in between the brooches. Yes, this is beautiful already. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now you can purchase this bouquet already made or you can purchase the kit, say 50%, by just purchasing the kit watching the video and making it yourself i know we're really in some i mean the, our economy is just not what it used to be so i totally understand if you want to make it yourself because you will definitely save money making it yourself and it's fun it's really a lot of fun and you can purchase kits for your bridesmaids and just have like a bouquet making pizza party and all you girls get together and make your bouquets for the wedding think about how much money you will actually save doing that and guys you know it's been a long time since i've made videos um i've been so busy making bouquets you guys need to purchase your business starter kits i'm just showing you the brooches here that i have and all of these brooches are on sale on the website so go ahead and get yourself some brooches i'm actually having a clearance sale with the brooches i overbought i have too many brooches so that'll be for your advantage because i'm going to discount them so i want to get some new stuff in so i'm just using a bunch of small brooches yet yeah like i was saying with the um the business starter kits purchase your kits and get into this business I'm telling you you won't be disappointed if you're crafty and even if you're not crafty and you just want to try it get one of the kits try it and see what happens i have so many people who started their bouquet making business just from watching my videos and purchasing the kits you won't go wrong with you know you make yourself some money some extra money and it's fun i love what i do i absolutely love it i thank god every day that he allowed me to start this business i love it i could do it for free and i do do it for free my husband is like you're gonna give the store away you know with family and friends i i don't really charge too much or i i just do it for them but i just love it i absolutely love this business so i'm just going um enough of that blabbing right I missed you guys. I really do. I really did. I, I was like, I was just so busy. I mean, I didn't have time to do anything really. Just making bouquets. And and then I started doing the wedding brooms. Oh my God. Those are taking off like hotcakes. If you need a jumping, a wedding broom for your, you know, jump to jump the broom on your wedding, hit me up. Check out the website. They are absolutely gorgeous. So we're just going to finish um, putting our, I'm just filling in some gaps now with the little um, rhinestone blemishes. Um, what? <laughs> Embellishments. <laughs> Nicole, Nicole, it's been a while, girl. You're rusty with your videos. I am. I am. But it's just, we're done. We're done. Okay, I'm just putting on the gold um, trim at the bottom.
Isn't this pretty? My goodness. Her wedding colors are nice. Black and gold. I love it. Black and gold. Yes. Okay, guys. There you have it. This is DIY Kit Glory. Head on over to Bouquets by Nicole to make your purchase. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.